All right, what is going on, everybody? How are you all doing? We are here with Alien Isolation, a brand new game that just came out tomorrow. <laughs> I uh, I don't know what happened. I don't know if this was something special for me pre-ordering the digital version of the game on PS4, which is what I'm playing this game on. Um, but it's 11.15 of Monday, October 6th, and the game is already unlocked for me to play. Uh, which is pretty awesome. I don't know what sorcery happened there, um, unless that was part of the pre-order or something. I honestly have no clue. Um, but that is pretty sweet, and uh, I mean, I don't know how long the game has been available for me to play. I just was recording some Fear 2 and decided, you know what, it's about time I turn on my PlayStation 4 just so I can you know, have my PlayStation 4 on when the game goes live for me to play, and it was already live for me to play, so we're gonna press X. This is the first time me booting up the game. It's the first time me seeing anything on it. We got extras and stuff. Alright, so we're gonna go to options. I'm gonna change all my general stuff. Let's look at the game stuff. Control scheme, sensitivity, probably boost that up a notch. Head tracking. Uh, oh, no, no. Noise detection. Huh, looks like they're doing some different stuff with this. Okay, let's look at video, adjust gamma, film grain intensity. I'm just gonna leave that default. Audio settings, uh, we're turning music all the way down, which probably isn't great for this game. Uh, music is probably a huge part of this game, but uh, unfortunately, YouTube is just a bitch. And uh, we're gonna have subtitles on, full dynamic range, sure speaker on and that's where I'm gonna keep the sound effects volume uh, we're gonna see how it goes there uh, and then here in uh, I don't know a couple 15 20 30 minutes or so I'll stop the recording and see how the audio was and we'll adjust it from there so let's go back let's play the game survivor mode all right so there's a survivor mode uh, let's just play the main campaign and start game Head tracking. Play the game with head tracking. Enabled allows the PlayStation camera connected to your system to track your head movements, applying them to your character when in peak mode. Used for peeking over objects and around corners. Uh, I do not have a PlayStation camera, so that's going to be off. Noise detection. Playing with game or playing the game with noise detection enables or enabled allows the PlayStation camera connected to your system to track the noise level of your room while you play. If you make any loud noises, the enemies might hear you. That is going to be off, because I do not have a PlayStation camera. And I'm going to play on easy, because I'm a little bitch. If you guys are new to my channel, I play games on easy uh, while recording them, because the main purpose of my channel is to show you guys the game. So, huh. All right, so just the camera, the, so the logo is barely visible against the black background. So I do have to turn it up a little bit, because it does tend to be a little darker in the recording, so that should be alright. Run when you can. Crouch frequently. Cause distractions. I couldn't read all that. So I don't really know anything about this game. All that I really know is that it is like a horror game based in like the alien universe, based off the movies, I guess. But other than that, I don't really know anything about this game. I heard it's pretty good, and I heard it's pretty long. Which would be awesome. If it's good, anyway. Final report of the commercial starship Nostromo. Third officer reporting. The other members of the crew... Kane, Lambert, Parker, Brett, Ash, and Captain Dallas are dead. Cargo and ship destroyed. I should reach the frontier in about six weeks. With a little luck, 
the network will pick me up. This is Ripley. Last survivor of the Nostromo. Signing off. Ripley? I'm Samuels. I work for the company. It's about your mother. We think we may have found her, Amanda. A commercial vessel, the Anisadora, has recovered what we believe to be the flight recorder unit of the Nostromo. Where? Zeta Reticula. What did it tell you? We don't know. The unit was taken to Sevastopol Station. It's proprietorial material, so the company wants it to be collected as soon as possible. Sevastopol's a supply depot in the region. It's a, a permanent freeport. I know what it is. Transit's arranged. There's a courier ship called the Torrens heading out that way in two days. We're going to travel out. We? Oui. Me and another exec. And you, if you're willing. Look, Ripley, when this job came across my desk, I read the case history. I know why you're working in the region where she went missing. You're still looking, aren't you? I've been cleared to offer you a place on the Torrance if you want to come along. Maybe there'll be some closure for you. So, uh, sensitivity might be pretty good. Hey, hey, look at that. I remember those. So one thing I can tell you is the graphics in this game are, uh, what the hell is this? Yeah, that's how you crouch. Alright, I'm gonna have to get used to this. Uh, just kind of take a look around. The graphics in this game are quite excellent, actually. The, uh, the facial movements and the cutscene were kind of meh overall, but, uh, I mean, the detail in the graphics was quite nice. Alright. I wish I had one of these. Just, like, sitting on my, on my table, pecking at my Xbox One, telling it to be useful. I'm joking. Alright, oh, what do we got in here? Uh, that's probably where I'm supposed to go. I'm getting a little... skip there. Um, I don't know if I'm going the way I'm supposed to. Whoa, what do we do here? Access terminal? A record of disaster? Oh, okay, so... Got a little message here. You guys can read this. I'm kind of skimming over it right now. Alright. It's pretty interesting. 
may save your progress. They will warn you if enemies are nearby. Oh, okay, so that's how you save your game. Which I will probably do that. What is this? Oh, I'm gonna turn it off and on. Okay. Get dressed. Oh. Just had to black out the screen, huh? There's my locker. I didn't even know getting dressed was my objective. I didn't even see that. What is this, a shower? Oh, yeah. Ooh. Must feel nice. Alright. Well, let, let me hit the start button real quick. Let me see. Okay. And there's my map. Okay, so that'll actually be useful. Uh, archive law. Okay, so I can read any past shit from there. I like this menu. Alright, so. Wait, does that show me my objective? Like, my current objective? Okay. Objective. Explore the Torrens. Explore the ship before you arrive at Sevast... Oh, what is that? Sevastopol Station? Alright. This game is very pretty. Look at these spacesuits. Spacesuits! Alright. What's down here? Can't go down there. Can I look at the map? Alright, so that was the airlock. Speak to Taylor. Speak to Samuels. So I guess they're gonna actually let me... Like, explore the whole ship before they actually move the story along, which is actually kinda nice. I like that. A game that encourages exploration. I like it. Okay, this just spins around. We can do oh man, look at that. Like look at the mist there. Or smoke or whatever. Alright. The camera I can tell you the camera is a little like slightly floaty, but not like really bad at all. Oh, Ripley. Samuels, did you wake up early? Well, I don't really need as much sleep as the rest of you. I was just inspecting the Torrens facilities, a well-maintained ship. I realize it's a very similar model to... The Nostromo. Yes, M-Class. A later pattern, but close in spec. I've worked engineering jobs on ships like this. Of course. Is Taylor up yet? She's not a seasoned traveler. Hypersleep may have been punishing for her. Haven't seen her. I'll go check on her. Alright. It's kind of nice the dialogue happened on its own and I didn't have to go to him and, like, press a button to initiate it or anything, but let's actually flip a bitch here and walk the other way. Is that a ladder? Can I go up that? Guess not. Alright. So far this game's off to a good start, but I also said the same thing about Shadow of Mordor, and well, look how that shit turned out. Hey there. Taylor, good morning. Ripley, it's certainly not good, and I very much doubt it's morning either. Sorry. I feel like death. I don't know how you people put up with hypersleep regularly. You get used to it. I don't do long haul very often. Most legal execs don't travel further than the coffee machine. I'm surprised Waylon Yutani felt the need to send legal at all. The loss of the Nostromo and its cargo cost the company a lot of money. It's important we find out what happened. If I can close the case with a conclusive accident report, it'll look great with my superiors. I'm sorry. That was insensitive. Realize your mother has been missing for 15 years and you... It's okay. We'll both get what we want, right? Have you seen Samuels? He's probably been up for hours. Objective completed. Talk to that lady. All personnel to the bridge. Approaching Sevastopol Station. Looks like we're up. Yeah, I'm not going to the bridge just yet. 
Guess I know which way the bridge is. What do I got here? Another. Alright, so here we go. Uh, da da da. Uh, we gotta. There we go. Okay. Alright. Man, look at this. What is that? Naval cookbook? Huh. This game has a lot of detail. I am quite impressed. Alright. Let's go to the bridge. Hope you all had a restful journey. The Torrens is in very good order for an old M-Class captain. She was a wreck when I bought her. Took a few years and a lot of contracts to refit. She pays for herself now. You said we're approaching Sevastopol Station. Are we docking? I believe your contact is Marshal Waits, is that right? I'll hail Sevastopol and arrange boarding with him. Good. Let's get this done. Don't worry, Miss Taylor. Routine. In and out. Connor, how we doing? SMG loaded and calibrated. Approach vector locked. Prep comm so I can say hello. Channel open, Captain. Does everyone have their briefing documents? You can watch the approach on the monitors. Collect your briefing documents. Who knows where those are? They're apparently in the middle of the room. I guess, like... Oh, okay, briefing file. Alright, let me take a gander here. Like, let's go over here. I saw this room. Where does this go? Somewhere I'm not allowed to go. Something that looks very Star Trek-y. Alright, let me take a look around. I just want to see. I like looking. Might as well enjoy all the detail they put into it. Dude, get out of my way. Dirt bag. Alright, let's collect these files here. Awake! Can we see it? Switch to monitors. Sevastopol Station. Is that damage? It looks like damage. Punch up 74, tight angle. Looks like the dry dock bay is screwed. I can't bring the Torrens into that. This is the commercial vessel Torrens out of St. Clair, registration number MSV7760, calling Sevastopol traffic control. We're carrying three passengers on a Wayland. Yutani Bond, you're holding the Nostromo flight recorder unit. We request immediate permission to transfer the passengers portside over. <laughs> Marshall? Mar Marshall, this is the Torrent. Say again. The station's comm seemed pretty screwed up, so I fitted Samuel's suit with a radio booster. I can only keep the Torrens in transit for 24 hours. You'll have heard from us by then. Safe trip. Stand by. My contract doesn't cover bloody spacewalks. It's the only option. And it's perfectly safe if you do what I tell you. Shadow me, Taylor. You too, Samuels. Affirmative. Okay. <laughs> 
Alright. Man, the cutscenes in this game are awesome. I hope there's a lot of them, to be honest with you. Find help. So I guess they want me to change. Alright, so we'll do that. And based off of what I gathered from this game, I guess it's a game kind of like uh, Outlast, where you're just supposed to run. There's no like fighting or shooting or anything like that. So I feel I'm going to suck at this game. I wasn't too great at Outlast, so... Okay, use registration points to manually save your progress. They will warn you if enemies are nearby. So these things right here. So I guess I should probably save my progress right here. That'd probably be a good idea. Alright, save data. Yes. It's actually really cool. They kind of integrated the saving into the game itself. It's pretty interesting. Alright, so. Okay, there's my run. Do I have a map? Not particularly. I guess that arrow is going to tell me where my main objective is. So I guess I should probably look this way because... Oh no, that's just the way I'm facing. Never mind. Oh god. Alright. Man. If there's one thing I had to say about Destiny, was that it had amazing lighting. This game may beat it. Um, my guess is, is I need to get across that. Though, oh, one thing I am already kind of worried about this game 